Hello, TikTok. We're back at it again. Got another PlayStation 5 here. This PlayStation 5 basically has uh, put in the, uh, in the diagnostics notes right over here. Uh, it's got error code SU101312-8, which basically entails that uh, it's not able to update. It's stuck in safe mode, and it's due to a Blu-ray issue. I just got through diagnosing this board. This is EDM033. Um, one of the things, just like PlayStation 4s, PlayStation 4s had the tendency of fuses, fuses going out, and then it would prevent the optical drive from being able to take in any games at all. Now, if you know PlayStation 5, along with PlayStation 4 actually, when uh, Sony sends out an update, that update basically validates that all functionality within that playstations are good if they're not good they tend to go into a safe mode so safe mode issue could be various things but in this scenario it's due to a bad optical drive the blu-ray uh, the blu-ray drive it's not functional so it keeps failing and it keeps going back into safe mode so we've diagnosed this console now this console has two dot uh, two fuses they go for the Blu-ray disc, uh, and, it, and that's right over here. You've got Fuse 5402 and Fuse 5401. These two fuses basically go to the optical drive. One of the things that's found out is this fuse right over here. You can't really see it because of the way that light's angled. That fuse about the y'all had to cock them through and uh it paused my entire tiktok so that fuse right there goes to the optical drive though so th that one and that one that one there it's not good it's not doing so i've got it i've got mine uh, my multimedia here set in continuity mode and when i try to check my continuity between the two ends of this fuse i get no signal at all so that tells me that it's bad we're gonna go ahead and get this replaced now it being next to this connector kind of sucks i am not able to uh remove that fuse using hot air so i'm gonna have to use just my hot iron station get it removed and put in a new one and uh let's see if we can get this up and going all righty we replaced the fuse let's go ahead and put this console back together we're gonna see if the update will fully complete and also if it go to the dashboard so let's go ahead and get that done now one of the things I do need to do always when I open these, I always respread this uh, liquid metal. You don't want to put this back together with any dry spots in the center. So usually what I tend to do is I grab a Q-tip. I put a dab of isopropyl alcohol, scoop up the remainder of the liquid metal on the corners, put it back in the center. And then the other end without any isopropyl, I respread it again with just a cotton salt. So that's usually one of the tricks I tend to do. So let's get that done now. All right, TikTok. So this is the moment of truth. I have yet to turn it on. I plugged in the thumb drive with the update on it since we're going to do it manually. Uh, even with the manual update, it was also failing. So we're going to go ahead and grab the update file. The update the, the update file, yeah, that we downloaded from the Sony's website. Put it onto the thumb drive. We've got our controller currently plugged into it. Let's turn it on. I'm a dumbass. I literally plugged everything else in and didn't plug the power cable nor the HDMI. Let me get that done. All right, power cable's plugged in, HDMI, thumb drive, controller. Let's press the power button. TV is on as well. It'll come on and it is coming on right now. And I'll show you exactly what we see on the screen. Okay, so this is what we usually get. We're gonna get the update from USB and it would fail uh it, it would say something's wrong but because of the optical drive uh let's see if it'll give us that same error message nope uh well it, it'll download right now once it's downloading i'll come back and i'll show you real quick all right so right when it would get to the very end this is where it would fail and this time it's actually installing the software update so we have repaired the issue where the optical drive wasn't being detected, so it would fill for the update. We're gonna let the update completely go through. We're gonna put this console back together and then we'll test the optical drive right afterwards as well to make sure that it's functional for the customer. All right, TikTok. So we got the console fully put, it, uh, put back together and uh, 
we're on the dashboard. We've got a PlayStation 5 game here. We're going to go ahead and insert it and see if it'll actually go in. It goes in. Will it be red? It looks like it's being red. And it should pop up on the actual screen as well. Alrighty, it was red. As you can see, it's actually downloading the game as well. Of course, we're not gonna download the game, but just wanted to show proof that uh, this is fully functional now. Alrighty, thanks everyone. Peace, stay blessed, and uh, we will see you on, on our next video. Peace.